Hey, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jessica, and today I'm just gonna be doing a get ready with me, like usual. Not really sure what look I wanna do, but I know I wanna do a smoky eye, kind of incorporating some of this bluish green color to match my dress, and a nude lip. So, let's get started. I'm going to prep my skin with the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water. I love the way this stuff makes my skin feel. Let's fill in some of my pores with the Makeup Forever Step 1 Skin Equalizer Smoothing Primer. I just like to do a little bit of this in the areas where I seem to have some big pores, which are kind of right around my mouth, nose area, and then just dab under my eyes to fill in any fine lines. All right, next I wanna have some illuminated skin. So I'm gonna go in with the MAC Stroke Cream. Put that on my foundation brush. This is the flat airbrush number 115 from It Cosmetics. Now I'm gonna go in with the NARS All Day Luminous Weightless Foundation in the color Tahoe. I just self sunless tan again, so I think the color should match. If not, I'll add in some stromboli. Shake it up real good, because this stuff separates. And then, since I'm using a brush, I don't want it to absorb too much product, so I'm gonna spray a little Fix Plus into my brush. And what the heck, I'm gonna spray my face too. A little Fix Plus never hurt anyone. Dab it on. but maybe a little dark so I'm gonna add in a pump of the color um, stromboli there we go that looks better now at first I hated this foundation because I could not figure out for the life of me how to apply it but um, I really really like it because I do have hyperpigmentation in my skin so it's light but full coverage, um, which is perfect for me because I feel like the texture of my skin, I don't need a thick foundation, but I do like to even it out because of the hyperpigmentation. So I love how this is a light formula, but very full coverage. I know I look pretty orange right now, but as soon as I get my contour highlight and everything, it'll even everything out and I'll look a little bit more normal. Okay, let's move on to the eyes. I'm gonna prime the eyes with two different paint pot colors. I'm gonna do the upper part of the eye with soft ochre paint pot and the lower portion with constructivist because I want to uh, do a darker color, I'm thinking, on the bottom, on the lid and by doing a darker primer underneath it will really accentuate those colors and pop, make them pop. Take this to the crease. And it doesn't have to be clean, it can be mixed and messy if you want. It's just the base. Okay. Now let's take some Makeup Geek Peach Smoothie and go put it in the crease with a big fluffy blending brush. Just to start off our transition. Next, let's go into the crease with Makeup Geek's eyeshadow and the color Chickadee. Whenever I'm doing a blue, bluish greenish look, I like to incorporate oranges in warm colors because blue, greens, and oranges are opposite the color wheel, so they complement each other very well. And let's do some brow bone highlight with Max Blanc type eyeshadow. All right, now we're gonna go in and define the crease even more with an eyeshadow from Morphe. It's called secretive number 71 it's like this really pretty mulberry purple color with a little bit more of a pointed blending brush 
Don't be worried about extending this out and getting a little bit messy because we'll just clean that up with concealer afterwards. That's why we haven't done the concealer yet. And keep this color right in the crease. You don't want to extend it up because you still want to see that gradual transition into the orange. And notice I am not, I'm taking my brush to the flat part and I'm going in like this and back and forth through the crease. I'm not turning it sideways, otherwise that's gonna blow it out even more. Just keep building it up. All right, now we're gonna go and lay the base shadow and I'm kind of feeling like using Club Eyeshadow from MAC. And it's this super fun like bluish green shimmery color with warm undertones. So I think it'll look really good with this dress but I want to try and really like blow it out as much as I can. So I'm gonna spray my brush with some Fix Plus and then dip it in there and hopefully that'll really accentuate this color. I'm just right on the lid. Don't take it up too far past the crease because then you're gonna not see all the purple and orange and the other colors that we just spent time laying down. Do it to the other eye. Now I don't want it to be super defined line with the green, so I'm gonna go back in the crease with the mulberry purpley color and just kind of blend the colors together a little bit. Didn't want to lose that. Same with orange. I'm just gonna go in and add one more layer just to make sure we are fully blended. I want to define the lash line, so I'm gonna use my Kat Von D Tattoo Liner and Trooper. Pretty much follow the line that's kind of already there with the shadow. I'm gonna fill it in with my e.l.f. liquid eyeliner. I'm gonna curl my lashes, put my L'Oreal Voluminous Carbon Black Mascara on my top lashes. Now I'm going to line my bottom lash line with the Marc Jacobs Black Liner. This stuff's amazing. I feel like it's the only liner that doesn't smudge or move in my waterline. It's super black. Pow! All right, now I'm going to use my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the color Custard. And we're gonna clean up this under eye. If you have some fallout, that is okay. I like to take this flat pointed foundation brush and get the outer part just so it's nice and crisp. And then underneath it, just blend. And the reason you haven't done your bottom shadow is so you can get your concealer right up to that bottom lash line without ruining the shadow. Now, in order to prevent I like to set my under eyes right away using this Rimmel Stay Matte Powder in Transparent. That should help prevent creasing. Right now we're going to do pretty much the same thing to the bottom lash line that we did to the top lash line. So I'm going to start off with a pointed blender brush and the orange chickadee eyeshadow and pretty much smoke out the bottom lash line. Then with the same brush, I'm gonna go in with the purple secretive shadow. Get that closer to the lash line. Then I'm going to take this small angled brush, go back into 
secretive and just really try and get that as close as I can to the lash line to define that even more. Now on the bottom lash line, I'm gonna do my MAC Extended Play Key Black Mascara. I applied my bottom mascara, and then I went ahead and applied my false lashes. I used the Sweetheart Lashes in Honey, and I used these actually in my last video, and I'm just really digging them because they're full, but yet you can still kind of see behind them, so if you want to see the colors and shadows, uh, that you have on. These are great lashes. And also loving this she glue. This is awesome. And I did my brows. So let's finish off the face and start off by just warming it up with my NARS Casino Bronzer. All right, then let's do a little contouring with the Marc Jacobs And use the highlight color. Just do a little bit under the eyes, nose, forehead, and just give that little bit of that sun kiss glow. Sun kiss glow. I'm gonna use the Betty Lou Manizer. Just get that on the top of the cheeks. I'm going to keep it pretty neutral for blush. I'm going to do the Kat Von D's blush in the color Wish. And a little highlight of Becca's Opal. And we're going to line lips with Oak Mac Lip Liner. We're gonna finish off with some Anastasia Beverly Hills lip gloss in the color of Luxury. Here's the finished look. If you want to set everything, use a little Fix Plus. Spray it all over. And let that set in and you're ready to party. So I hope you guys enjoyed this look. I hope you learned something. And if you guys have any questions, leave me some comments below. Otherwise, I will see you in the next video. Peace.